Islam fixes a lot of the problems that men are car currently facing. Yeah. The problems we're discussing on this show, Islam yeah. fi fixes all of them, mm. right? That's the first thing about Islam. And I'm not a Muslim, right? If I had to choose a religion, I would, because I live in an Orthodox Christian country, I go to the Orthodox Christian church. I donate $20,000 a month to the church in the country okay. I live in. The church, okay. the church in Romania is very powerful, and I like having church friends. So mm. I give them a lot of money, right? Mm -hmm. So I would guess I'm an Orthodox Christian. But if I had to bet on one religion as if I were betting on the stock market for the future, you have to bet on Islam. Mm. The, because Muslims are intolerant. And I'm, not, and I'm not saying that disrespectfully. Because if you're tolerant of everything, then you stand for nothing. Yeah. Right. Christians are so tolerant now. You don't believe it. They have gay pastors that are, I'm not even anti-gay. But if the book says don't have, like, what the yeah, what yeah. do you believe in now? Right, yeah, right if, you're now. if you're tolerant of everything, you stand for nothing. I can walk through London with a t-shirt saying Jesus is gay and nothing will happen to me. If I did the same thing with the Islamic prophet, I'd be dead before I got to the end of the street. Boom. That's how much they believe and respect. And I respect people who stick up for what they believe in. Yeah. It's not even about me believing in it. I respect them because they, they believe and they will defend. Muslims are the only people who will defend their religion. They will defend their beliefs. They refuse to be mocked. Mm -hmm. They refuse to be insulted. And I respect that about them. I respect that. That's an amazing thing about them, right? And the third point is, and I've been all around the world, some of the best countries in the world today are the first world Muslim nations. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Qatar, you can go to Qatar, you can fall asleep with a million dollars on your lap in the middle of the street. Nothing's gonna happen. To you. Saudi Arabia. As you well. can go to Saudi. Nothing will happen to you. You can go to Dubai, UAE. Nothing. They leave their to cars you. parked with the with the, the keys, keys inside. In. It's so safe. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. It's it's so safe. Women. Everyone's married. Every woman obeys her husband. Every single woman has four or five, six kids. Big families. All the things we're talking about. All the problems we have here. Right. They've got none of that. None of it because of Islam. Islam keeps society in the role where women obey their man. Women have children, women have big families, women are exceptionally happy to do so. Yes. Before, yeah. before some Western girl comes in here and runs her mouth, the, the Islamic women are happier than any you're gonna see in the club tonight. And they're very true. They're happy, society is functioning, their population is growing, because in most Western countries, the population is declining. Yep. Tim Cass is talking about it today. I was talking yeah. about it. We two people have one yeah. kid, doesn't work. Doesn't work, right? Two people need to have 3.1 kids because people die, right? People die prematurely, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. So we have population problems in the West. They have none of the population problems. Society is functioning. And that's that's what society is. Society is, society starts at the smallest possible group. You have families and families make a street and that street makes a village and that village makes a town, that town makes a city and that city makes a country. So if it's yeah. broken at the very fundamental level, if it's family level's broken, then it's broken the whole way up. Yep, yep. And that's what's happened in the West. And the first world Islamic countries have none of those problems. So if you're gonna talk about a belief system that fixes issues, you need to go to Islam. And I will that, say this that too. will fix <laughs> everything. But I just have absolute, even though I wouldn't identify as Muslim, yeah. I, have su I have absolute respect for the ideology, yeah. respect for the mentality, respect for the warrior aspect of it. I, I respect they it. They don't play. They don't play, you can't insult their shit. But you can insult the church all day. You can make fun of it. They're, they're, show on Netflix about a gay Jesus. That's a joke, right? Ha ha ha. And yeah. what, what do the Christians do? Nothing. Yeah. Christians, Christianity is a dead religion. If you're a Christian, and I'm saying this as a Christian myself, Christianity is a dead religion which is confined to, to the, the history books. It's dying out. Your own Pope. The Pope goes up there and talks LGBTQ shit That's now. crazy. It is over. That's you don't crazy. stand for anything. You don't believe in anything. You have no boundaries. You're walked on. You're mocked. The whole thing is a joke. Being a Christian now is nothing more than advertising you're a loser. It's a losing religion because you've lost to Islam.